Hello, what's good, YouTube? Hope you guys are all doing well today, and welcome to another episode of Staying in D1. As you guys remember from the previous episode, we ended up winning our first game and getting a draw our second game, ending up with four points, and we're going to continue our run through this Division One title race. And we're going to use the same team. No changes yet, even though I did have my complaints regarding Cavani's high, high work rate. I figured I'd give him one more shot because he does have great shot power, great finishing. So I said, you know what, let's just give him another shot, see how it goes. If I have any complaints, I'll go ahead and make an adjustment. And look at this team here. He's got Messi up top, plenty of pace. This is the first time I've came up against Messi on Ultimate Team. So I had to see what he was going to be like against me. Haven't had enough coins yet to afford him. Uh, I think he goes for like 1.3 million from what I remember last I checked haven't really even tried to buy him but you guys are going to see we're going to start off the match incredible passing just a great passing sequence here get a little bit lucky to maintain possession but you guys are going to see this is how I normally play against people just maintaining possession passing up the pitch until I get free and look at this we find Jose Enrique free on the wings there and he finishes clinically with his right foot despite the rain thankfully you guys remember in the last episode he failed that shot this time he puts it in for us to give us the early lead with a great passing sequence and we were not done there the 45th minute is approaching again some nice passing we get it over to Suarez and Ferdinand takes him out with a crazy challenge and that's kind of ironic that Ferdinand is the one called for that and we end up getting the penalty he stays in the match he did not get carded for that and we're gonna just go over to the left his keeper is just gonna stand still and watch the ball soar right past them and into the back of the net so we're going to take our second goal and move into the second half with the 2-0 lead but he's eventually going to get me on the counter which is the strength of the 4-3-3 paces down the wings finds Messi make a beautiful run because I fail at defense I pulled Chiellini out of position which is completely my fault and Messi back heels it into the back of the net very casually a very nice goal by an S Messi man he's he's a tough tough mark he's a he's a tough man to stop on ultimate team compared to last year I'll tell you that much he's definitely way better on 2013 compared to 2012 but with that said he again gets me on the counter finds Giovino a far post crosses it to him looked like the triple cross and then slots it into the back of the net and are you kidding me this man has equalized I thought I was in control but man I knew something was wrong Every time I attacked, Cavani was just not there. He was invisible. He was playing as a midfielder. He was playing as a defender. And I said, you know what? It's time for you to get off the pitch, my man. We got to put in Mikali to try to do something for us. And he's got great stats, great pace, great everything. We end up trying to get the corner and cross it in with Mikali, but that did not work out. And he's going to get me on the counter again. I make a really, really bad mistake here as he's just going to find Messi. And there is no catching this man when he turns on his speed look at that dude just completely outpaces my whole defense Chiellini lunges into the tackle misses the ball completely he finishes clinically and at this point I was just shaking my head in disbelief how am I down three to two but fear not this is why we brought Mikkeli on for his good attacking work rate and also I have someone to pass to now on the attacking side we find Shakiri make a beautiful run we put it in and thank god we equalized there was no way I wanted to lose this game man I, I just was I, w I would be furious because I had so many chances Again here, Mikkeli uses his pace, uses his balance, uses his agility, all the good stuff, crosses it into Suarez, a nice first touch, volleys it into the back of the net, and that is a thing of beauty to get in the 87th minute to take the equalizer, but I wanted to put the nail in the coffin, I wanted to make sure this guy was put away just in case anything happened in the 90th minute, tried to go for a rainbow flick there, did not work out, Mikkeli's gonna pick things up for us, slide it into the back of the net, and that is all she wrote ladies and gentlemen we almost let this one slip away but thankfully the man who came in Mickley saves the day and we win this one 5-2-3 a very very tough match man look at look at that look at the match stats 19 shots total 14 shots on target how the heck did I almost end up losing that one I have no clue but that's how FIFA works sometimes
In any case, we end up getting our three points, well-deserved three points, and we have seven points total with two wins and one draw moving into the next match here. And our opponent has a wonderful team. Look at this, 4-3-2-1. He's got Rooney as a center mid there. He's got Bill, Aguero, Di Maria. What a team that he has, man. An incredible team, but... We started the match on the right foot. Look at this incredible passing, just exceptional passing here. Make sure that we do not lose possession early on. And we get a nice over-the-top through ball eventually as Suarez makes the run, controls it with his chest, volleys it into the back of the net, and we end up getting a third-minute goal early on against his team man that's just a great way to start things off but right after he scored he's pacing down the wings gets a cross off we defend it nicely as our keeper makes a beautiful save Buffon clutches things again and we clear this one and now we are on the attack again look at this just great passing to one another playing like a team should incredible passing keeping possession making sure that he doesn't get us on the counter especially with his front three that he has so I need to make sure that I do not make any mistakes and I'm trying to do whatever possible to get something going but he is playing decent defense trying to intercept my passes I do break free a little bit with Inler try to get a little ambitious to get a shot off from there from that angle unfortunately he does not make it for us so Inler nice shot but doesn't go in we cross this one in with Shakiri, and his keeper gets pulled out and he gets the ball back tries to punt this one down the pitch we are in proper position to get that so no issues there and again we're just going to maintain possession make sure he's a little bit frustrated at this point I can already tell but we need to make sure we put in some more balls into the back of the net so that's what we're going to try to do but he plays good defense I mean you can't really do against that look at this his player just completely takes me out we get a penalty Kind of an awkward turn of events, and then we get the circle ball of death. What's it going to be? The circle ball of death right now? Are you serious? He ends up rage quitting, ladies and gentlemen. This guy rage quits in the 11th minute after only two goals. Who knows? He could have saved the penalty. But if he was that frustrated over that, I guess that's what happens. And we end up getting a very easy victory against a team that I thought would give us a whole bunch of trouble. And that's how this episode of Staying in D1 is going to come to an end. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily uploads. I mean, what else are you going to do? I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a new episode. Y'all take care. Peace.